the face that launched a thousand leaks. Julian Assange's exposure of tens of thousands of secret documents has embarrassed governments the world over. But the WikiLeaks phenomenon is no longer his most pressing concern. Swedish authorities want to question Assange over allegations of sexual assault dating back to August 2010. Prosecutors have been criticized by Assange's supporters and international civil libertarians with allegations of a cumbersome, contradictory and slow legal process. Huge arguments have also broken out over the nature of some of Sweden's laws on sexual offenses, such as those Assange faces. It's going to be a closed court and leading up to the trial he's going to be held uh, well, the, the chief prosecutor asked for him to be held in solitary confinement. It's, it's just bizarre. So there are so many bizarre aspects to the way in which the, the matter has been conducted up till now. Um, from my perspective, I just can't see how he would get a fair trial. Others have gone beyond legal arguments, saying that the storm raised by Assange through WikiLeaks has made him a target for political interference. Across the Atlantic, US authorities enraged at having their secret documents exposed, may seek to have Assange extradited there to stand trial. But surely Sweden's famed neutrality would stop such a thing. I would disagree as whether Sweden is a neutral country. Sweden has a very clear-cut um, proximity and collaboration even in military operations with uh, such campaigns initiated by NATO. You have, for instance, the Swedish presence in Afghanistan. You have a clear-cut pro-NATO policy on the part of Sweden, and that is not neutrality. With some U.S. politicians branding Assange a cyber terrorist and calling for the death penalty, it could get a lot worse for the WikiLeaks founder. The problem is not that we have too much WikiLeaks, we have too little, and I think most people agree with that. In fact, uh, uh, international public opinion uh, polls uh, indicate that very large majorities uh, applaud and support the efforts of WikiLeaks. The wider worry is that with or without Julian Assange, governments around the world with something to hide will now launch full-scale assaults on internet freedom in order to keep their secrets secret. But for now, the focus is on the man, not his website. Julian Assange's connections with Sweden have raised many questions about what really happened in August 2010. But now, with Assange's future as uncertain as ever, questions are being levelled at Sweden's legal system and its relationship with the United States, which could prove crucial to the fate of the world's most notorious whistleblower. Tom Barton, RT, Stockholm, Sweden.